right? And that happened eventually. We got like four stunts left, and we're just gonna beat them with sticks until they cancel us. <laughs> that's plan B. I can't even believe that's a fucking real show. You always ask me shit like it's my idea, too. How did you come up with that? Dude, I can't even believe it's a real show. I show up every day at work going, Really? Shut the fuck up. Come on. Keep thinking it's like the longest episode of Pumped ever. The one day they go, that's not a fucking show. And I thought it was going to be canceled immediately. That's why I was willing to do it in the first place. Seriously, my agent calls me up and goes, hey, they're going to do this show where they sick dogs on people. You want to host it? Fuck yeah! Like, like, you know what I was going to do today? I was going to jerk off and take a nap. That sounds way better. Let's do this. Everybody's like, is it fun? I'm like, that's kind of retarded. Whatever, it's going to be canceled immediately. Four years later, I'm standing in front of a chick with a mouth full of animal dicks. I'm like, you can do it! You hang in there! Relax! Breathe! Concentrate! Concentrate. Swing it! And she's taking my advice! advice. She's gagging! You you can get through this! (laughs) And every now and then I'll just hit him. What the fuck am I doing? A lot of people don't like reality TV because they say it takes advantage of stupid 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 people. Which is pretty pretty true, true, but you know what? what? Fuck stupid people. What are you looking out for them for? Well, who likes stupid people? That's what evolution's all about. Those people are supposed to get fucked over. All right? They're supposed to. That's what it's all about. You can't let them survive. You should be happy when stupid people get ripped off. I don't like it when smart people get ripped off because I'm not very smart. You know, when like Halliburton, Enron type shit? Oh, if they can get those guys, they can definitely get me. I don't even really know how to fucking divide. These guys are ripping off accountants? Ah! Right, like stocks? Do you really know what a stock is? I don't know what the fuck a stock is, really. I mean, I have them, but I don't know. A fucking number or something. I don't know. They can rip off accountants? I'm in trouble, right? That's not fun. But I laugh my ass off when I see an ad for big dick pills. Okay, that's, that's fucking, fucking funny. funny. That's, that's a rip-off rip off I can get behind. Anybody, Anybody dumb, dumb enough to think that the ads for Big Dick Pills be some weird secret on the back page of Hustler? Hustler. Fuck that guy! Take, Take his shit! shit. Take his shit! Are you sure it's real? I got an ad. ad. You would know about Big Dick Pills! <laughs> Just use your logic! 100% of all men who could afford Big Dick Pills would be on Big Dick Pills. Big Dick Pills would be pretty fucking popular. Do it, do it, man. I'm fucking happy with it. I'm fucking, fucking happy with it. I got you need to take your Big Dick What the fuck ever? Everyone with, when your next door neighbor is pushing his dick around in a fucking shopping cart. It's like a big roll of carpet of cock. Right in the middle of a thing and just push it. Just... It's growing as he's walking. All the blood's in there. His fucking period's gone. His legs are numb. Look at my cock. Look at my cock. Get your report back from your doctor. If you don't stop taking those pills, you're going to die. I'm going to die with a big cock. People, we wake it up in the middle of the night. One more pill is talking about. Who am I coming to? What am I coming to? We would, we would change. Everything would change. There would be no more blowjobs. That would be one of the first casualties. Eventually, women would be just like, What do you want me to do? Just put the drum? Okay, it's bigger than my fucking head. What are you saying? Just try it. You have a problem with these pills. You're fucking, you're not even supportive. Just try it, get it in. Some, Some women, women, they would really, really want to really please their man. man. So what they would so do, they'd practice stretching their mouth out on a missile. Stood it over the top. Pushed their head in. And the really hardcore chicks would actually sever the tendon between their jaw and their skull. So they could dislocate it like a snake trying to swallow a goat. 
That would be the new hot look at the clubs, the slack job. Dude, you see your lungs, man. It's fucking hot. And you know what? If Dick's gonna get that big, vagina's gonna have to go too. Yeah! That's what evolution's all about. It's gotta fit. The animal has to adapt to its environment. So women's vaginas would grow two, three hundred times the size they are now. The point where chicks could jump off cliffs and parachute to safety. Like giant flying squirrel pussy people. You can't even write that joke without weed. If you like that judge, you are pro weed. I would have never come up with flying squirrel pussy people on my own. I'm not that funny, man. I need some help. 2005 pot still illegal. Oh, it's amazing. I could fix every different pot. I could fix all this bullshit in the Middle East. Stop sending troops over there, dude. Let's just calm that area down a little bit. Uh, just crocked us to planes filled with chronic spells. Just bomb Just bombard that area for weeks. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Come back in three weeks. But I'll just be standing in the street. Dude. What the, what the fuck, fuck are we doing with our lives, man? I mean, look at this, man. It's 2005. I'm dressed like a fucking genie. I'm dressed like a genie and I have a cell phone. You see what's wrong with that picture? Okay, I have the internet, but dancing's illegal. Bro, what the fuck are we doing? This is crazy bullshit. Suicide, suicide bombings would end right away. Right, right, right. That'd be the That'd first be thing to go. go. No one high is blowing themselves up. It's not gonna happen. You offer that shit up to a high guy. Like, no. What? You want me to do? What? I don't care what you offer. Bro. That's gonna fucking hurt. Do you believe in no? A lot of people know that they blow themselves up for burns. Isn't that really important? Isn't that something, Isn't that something we should talk about all the time? Because you hear about it in the news. Oh, another crazy suicide bomber. We don't hear why they did it. That's pretty fucking important. That tells you a lot about human nature. It tells you a lot about people. It tells you a lot about the power of the pussy. Because there's nothing in that neighborhood, folks. There's nothing in that neighborhood. Okay? Pussy is so strong. Dudes are willing to blow themselves up for the highly unlikely possibility of pussy in another dimension. Whoa! Okay, that's in a class by itself. Dick doesn't have nearly the same kind of pull. There's no chicks willing to blow themselves up for dick. The power to breed is just too fucking strong. Sex is the ultimate biological trick. It's amazing. Nature just figured out a way to get us to breed definitely. Just make it feel better than anything you could ever do. Maybe not everything I haven't. There's a lot of shit I haven't done. I don't know. I don't have kids. My sister's got two kids. And the way she makes it sound, it sounds pretty badass. Because my sister's really smart. What's it like? She's like, all right, this is fine. I need people. And I fucking love them so much. Oh my god. It's insane. Don't ever tell me you love your dog. You know what the fuck that means. Yeah, I love it. Really, it's a biological trick. It's a chemical that your brain produces called oxytocin, and it's a key to keep you strangling the little motherfuckers because they never go to sleep and they don't shut the fuck up. And it's always about them, right? But whatever. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. And my husband my comes home and is like, how, how people we need? And we hold hands and we watch them shit their parents, and it's fucking awesome. Okay, it's, it's fucking amazing. I've never been happy. I'm like, wow. 
That's got to be a fucking trick for love. That, ooh, that's going to be crazy. I might try that. I might try that one. That one. Ooh, that seems like a fuck of a lot of work. I don't know. But it sounds like a crazy thing. Ooh, I don't know. There's a lot of other shit I haven't done. I've never been skydiving. I never been hand gliding, but I did get to flying in an FA-18 once with the Blue Angels. And holy fucking shit! I thought, you know, I'm not just gonna be like driving a car fast. Crazy video game. We're gonna go in a jet. This gonna be fun. You have no fucking idea how physically demanding that is unless you try it. And we went seven and a half G's in an FA-18. That's because that's all my pussy ass can take. All right? Some of those dudes do a 13 fucking G. You have to force blood into your brain to stay conscious. That's what happens. You do a thing called cooking. We gotta hold on to the handle. You like this. It's just, it's, oh, you just give up. Hey! Dick whip, that's a fucking myth. Pussy whip is some real shit. I've been pussy whipped in every relationship I've ever been in, ever. I always start off really good, too. They always start off, you're gonna learn from the last one. Listen, I don't want to tell you what to do, you don't tell me what to do. How's that? Let's just not label it. Let's just enjoy each other's chunk. Oh my god, totally. That's what I was thinking. I am so tired of God trying to marry me and own me. Holy. That's what they always say. But what they mean is, here's my plan. I'm 29 and I would really like to have a family. And I don't think you're really into that right now, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that I don't care for like three months. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. I'll wake you up alone with you in the morning. I'll make you breakfast. I'll clean your dog shit in your backyard. And you don't even have to ask. And then I'm going to start to cry. Right when I know you're fully in love. Right when I know I got you. I don't know where this is going. And we'll see what happens then. Ha ha! The same shit happens every time. I fucking panic. I panic and I give in. As soon as they say this in maybe she just spends time apart. Which means some other dude is gonna gorilla fuck your girlfriend. You know that's what that means. Some dude is gonna just fuck her in the corner of the couch. <laughs> You don't think she just likes it when you do it. No, she likes loads in her face. It's fun for her. Some guy's gonna be fucking her face. We know that you can get laid. It takes a while for us to get laid. We gotta put in groundwork. We gotta hunt down. We gotta, we gotta do a lot of shit. You can just go, what the fuck? Me, I do. I do. You can just start calling those dudes that are your friends. Just call them up. All those guys you used to date. We're just friends. Come on. No, we're really good friends. Come on. We're very good friends. We're very great. Those guys are just hungry wolves. Sniffing the phone line for weak whiskey. Hey, 
Hey, what's up? What's How you been? Oh my god, what a surprise! I haven't talked to you forever! I'm so glad we stayed friends. Yeah, yeah. me too, me too. <laughs> So what's, so what's uh what's, what's new? You still dating that guy? <laughs> oh, you know what? I really don't want to talk about that right now. Right? Right. If you just talked to me just a little while ago and you made me the OPS, but it's just like, like you know, whatever. I mean, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I just, I just, no, I don't want to be the girl talking to her ex-boyfriend about the problems she's having right now with her current boyfriend. I just think that's fucked up. Hey, but listen, 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 Michelle, okay? You're my friend. All right? Listen, I love you. I love you, and I'll always love you. No matter what happens between us, I want you to be happy. All right? If I can give you some kind of advice, to help, to help you, then I'm going to give you the right advice. Now talk to me. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, just, just... Here's the deal. <laughs> Ever since we moved in together, we fucking never have sex anymore. <laughs> Are you serious? What's up with that? I don't know. I mean, it's like I'm fucking fat or something. Hey, listen. It's not you. Okay, listen. You should not be alone right now. What are you doing? Look, I'm like a mile from your house. Do you want to, you want to like sit down and have some coffee? I really think I, that would be awesome. I can really use a friend right now. <laughs> What a sneaky fucking trick. <laughs> Whatever, shut, shut the shut fuck up! up. <laughs> you just fucking, you've just, just never been in love. Love, love is one of the last, last remaining magic, magic words. words. It's, it's got, got too, too much, much power. power, you need to get rid of that word. People should love each other, but you should just stop saying that. That word, that word has gotten out of hand. hand. That word's like the LAPD. LAPD. It's, just it's just completely out of control. control. Because there's three there's magic three words in the English language. language. There's cunt. Cunt, 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 cunt is number one. one. Yeah, yeah, see? see you feel them. There's a few girls that were I said cunt. Oh. oh. There's not a whole lot of words that can get that kind of reaction. That is a magic word. And it's lost a lot of speed. Because in the early 80s, cunt had a hell of a lot. In the early 80s, cunt was a fucking show shop. It didn't matter what chick said. Yeah, fucking loser. You're always going to be a loser. Your friends are fucking losing. You're never going anywhere. Shut up, cunt. Oh, my God. No, you didn't. It was like domestic violence in a word. And whenever you got back together, you always had a promise you wouldn't say it again. This promise you are never going to say it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did. I did. I did. I did. That's a magic word. word. Nigger. See? See, even explaining that that's a dangerous word to say, and saying the word, everybody's like, oh, this is not some shit. <laughs> That's how crazy that, that word is. Even explaining, explaining that it's a, that it's a word, word is in fact a word. Yo, what, what, what was he doing? <laughs> and only black people have to say that. And I respect, I respect that. that. I never, never say that, say that word. word. Unless, Unless I'm positive, positive there's no black, there's black people around. around. And then even when I say it, I don't say it in a racist way. I'm not racist at all. I say it just because it sounds pretty cool. cool. It's not it's fair not that you guys get, get to use that word. You know, I don't, I don't like, like when your friends show, show up like, what's up, nigga? <laughs> like, that, that's all I'm saying. There's no black people around. You're not using it. Let me borrow it for a little. What's the big deal? Why well, you gotta be so stingy? I respect the fact that it's your word. As long as black people around, like, no, they got it. That's all I'm saying. If you're gonna hear it, they're gonna say it. They're not gonna say it. 
It's magic. Poof, magic. The only other magic word is love. But the difference with love is you have to say it. If a girl says, I love you, you can't say, you fucking wrong. No, you have to say, I love you too. You can't string a bunch of words together to, to, to fix that. You have to say that word. You give us too much power. With one word, you give guys the ability to express themselves in a way they would never figure out how to do on their own. Just by stringing a bunch of words together. And you make us say it. And we will say anything. You know we'll say anything. You don't even care. Because all we say is, Do you love me? I love you. Are you sure? Totally. I trust you. It's like a crazy little game we play. But if you say anything else, I just want you to know. Every relationship I had before was just useless, all right? I never give a fuck about anybody I was with. If we broke up, I didn't care. If you broke up, I would fucking die. I just want to tell you, I, I, I've never been more fulfilled. I've never been happier. I've never been more inspired. I feel like finally, for once in life, I have a shot not to be a fucking loser. If she cares about me, that's all I think about myself. She cares about me, maybe I can do something. Maybe I can be somebody. When I close sales at work, I fucking think about you, all right? I want to come home to you. I want to have babies with you. I I would, I would happily give my life for you. Happily. Okay, I just heard a lot of blah, blah, blah. That sounded like lyrics to a fucking Creed song. You can't even say the magic word. Say it. Oi. Like dudes who've ever had a problem saying things they have hard arms. You don't think guys would lie about that? I was at home the other day, hot as giraffe pussy, watching the History Channel. <laughs> and they had this documentary on in search of Noah's Ark. And I went, oh! I heard that dude's a missing. You really gonna go? Yeah? Hey, on the way back, will you go to Whoville and get me some green eggs and ham? You fucking gullible prick. Whoa. Don't get me wrong. If you're religious, I'm not saying there's no God. I'm saying. People are full of shit, and that story sucks. Hello? Why do we have to believe it just because it's been around a long time and it makes no fucking sense? You tell the story of Noah and the Ark to an eight-year-old retarded boy. He's gonna have some questions. <laughs> it's just a bad story! Even if you're really good at telling stories, you sit him down, well, buddy, once upon a time, God was mad at all the people in the world. And instead of telling them what they were doing wrong and offering guidance, he decided to go ahead and drown everyone. And he only told one man, a random man named Noah, just picked him out of a crowd. He wasn't a special man. In fact, Noah was 600 years old at a trunk. Anyway, God told Noah to build a boat, and he and his family would be the only people to survive the flood. Because apparently, all the other people with boats do shit didn't work. Noah magically got two of each animal to come to him on foot from all over the world. And they willingly boarded the boat and got into cages. And they sailed away for 40 days and 40 nights. And civilization began to move. Eight year old retired. Oh! Let me take the phone.
for a moment. <laughs> First of all, how big is this fucking boat? Didn't you tell me there are millions of animals? One guy built this boat. How long did it take him? Where did he get all of the wood? 600 years seem a little old for a fella to be taking on a project of this magnitude. The animals come on foot, even the earth, 24,000 miles long, and three corners covered with the water. Wait a minute. What did the animals eat when they were in the boat for 40 days? Since animals like to eat other animals! I'm not that retarded! You motherfucker! Four people come from no one knows the white guy. Where do all the black people come from? I'm all in favor of believing that there's a purpose to life, but I just wanted to make a little sense. That's all. And here's the craziest thing about life. This is the thing that nobody really considers. You know as much about what life is all about as anybody who's ever lived ever. That's the craziest fucking thing about us. We're all just kind of wandering through this, going, you know what you're doing? Yes. Oh, I do too. I know what I'm doing. Okay, good, then. But really, no one has a fucking clue. But we never bring it up. Remember when you were a kid, you thought they were real grown-ups? You remember that shit? You remember when you know what I'm talking about, motherfucker? All the people love to pretend they know what the fuck is going on. We're all full of shit. When I was a kid, I thought they were grown-ups. Didn't you? Like, you were crying, you had sense in your room, like, you know what, one day I'm gonna be a grown-up. Everything's gonna make sense. Then one day, you're like 25 at the supermarket, and the bag boys calls your son, and you're like, what the fuck? How'd that happen? Shit! You mean I'm a grown-up? Oh my god, are we fucked? You mean nobody knows? We're all, we're all just zombies walking through this life? Shit! The real problem is the reality of life is way too huge for most people to grasp, including me. Like, how about space? When does that shit ever come up? Do you ever think about it? If, if you enjoyed any part of this show tonight, I would just like one extra minute of your time. When you get out of here, you get out of the parking lot, just look up for one minute. Do you ever do that? I never even pay attention to space unless I'm high. And when I'm high, it's usually like, dude, does that shit always do anything? How come that never comes up? Space is the most taken for granted thing ever. You know how crazy it is and it's above you every day and it never comes up. If we all lived underground or indoors, there was only one place in the whole world where you could see space, you know how popular that shit would be? Everybody would travel to see space. You would stand there and hold hands and look up and go, Wah! There's no ceiling! It's fucking incredible! It's mind blowing! But instead, every day. Oh, look, the Big Dipper. Big Dipper. People travel to see the fucking Grand Canyon. Hey, dude, you gotta go to the Grand Canyon, man. Dude, you changed my life, man. I stood out there and saw that king was so immense. I just realized well, how small my role in the universe really is. Oh, really? Wow. Hey, how about all that shit? What the fuck are you talking about? Those aren't light bulbs, motherfucker! Those are huge nuclear explosions billions of miles away! And it goes on forever. Do you know what forever means? It means this whole universe of hundreds of billions of galaxies might just be a part of one atom that's in a cell of the balls of one guy who lives in another universe. It's part of one atom that's a cell of a ball and a guy. And it goes on and on and on and on forever! And there's no fucking end! And you're looking at a ditch. You just drove six hours from looking at a ditch. You're a fucking dummy. You can see the bottom. Why is that even interesting to you? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you're small, it's big. Space is some fucking crazy shit. Some people don't believe in aliens. I do believe in aliens. But I believe they gave up on people a long time ago. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I think there's a few liberal aliens out there still hanging out. Hey, man, I think they're going to pull it together. I think we should help them give them more technology. No! Every time we do that, they blow shit up. No! There, there is some convincing evidence of UFOs. The most convincing I saw was last summer, the Mexican Air Force, and a lot of people saw this. It was on CNN, it was on the cover of the New York Times. The Mexican Air Force got video footage of 11 flying saucers circling one of their jets and then taking off at an insane rate of speed. Yeah, and I saw that one. Like, Fuck! Mexico's got an Air Force? Oh, they're never gonna land now! The aliens are coming, they're gonna send a Mexican jet. Dude, I told you they're fucking retarded! Let's get out of here! Instead, we have a comic book bad guys. Osama bin Laden's not out of a fucking comic book. Think about it. He's a billionaire who hates us. He lives in a cave. And every time and every they almost catch him, he mysteriously gets away. Another <laughs> day, <laughs> I will get my revenge. <laughs> and you read some of these stories. I, I always realize how selfish I am when I read stories about the war. Because the most, the most, the most self, the most disappointed I was in myself. I read this one story where they were talking about how they were very close to locating Osama bin Laden because they were monitoring his cell phone signal. But as if he knew they were monitoring him, right before they could pinpoint his location, he hung up the phone. And I know, you, you read shit like that, you just must go, fuck. No, man, we almost got the bad guy. We almost had that guy. But all I could think of was, who the fuck is his cell phone provider? Wait a minute, this dude gets a signal in Afghanistan? Alright, my shit cuts out at fucking Walmart. This guy's making calls from a cave? That is bullshit! <laughs> no, fuck AT&T, alright? I'm tired of their shit! That guy should do commercials! Death to America, can you hear me now? Yes, you can, because even under 500 foot of rock, Allah has blessed me with five bars! Jihad! <laughs> The terrorist network. A hundred percent no drop offs. Hundred percent. Don't use a terrorist network, bro. Dude, I need it for work. People would use it. If it was the best. Guaranteed the best. Do you boycott? I don't boycott kind of shit. Shit, shit, shit. I think I about doing it, but I don't take people, people that seriously. You know, I'm like, yeah, hey man, like, yeah, you yeah, shouldn't wear Nikes. Nikes. You know, Nike, Nike workers work, doing like 13 cents an hour. Uh, they should probably quit. 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 Sounds, Sounds to me like, like they're getting they're fucked. fucked. But I need a pair of sneakers, and I'm gonna make a pair of sneakers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy them. Do what you gotta do. I boycott. I boycott Nextel. That's the only company I boycott. This is why I boycott Nextel. They treat you an idiot. They have a commercial. Our phones all have built-in walkie-talkies. Uh. Isn't a phone better than a fucking walkie-talkie? Who asked you to mix old dumb shit in with the new good shit? See, a phone is the best shit. With a phone, you don't have to say over. What do you do? What other old stupid shit does your phone do? Is it send smoke signals? I hear that's making a comeback. How about Mars Coast? No. 
Well, you can check text messages. Why would you do that when you can fucking call me? It's a phone! It takes you four presses to get an S. What the fuck are you doing? Just call me. Why are you making me read? God damn, at least do this. And not getting any smart? That's the scariest thing about life, is that dumb people are outbreeding smart people at a fucking staggering pace. And nobody ever even talks about it. We all kind of know what's happening. And the real problem is, most of us are dumb. We don't want to admit it. But really, how many of us are really smart? Look, I know I'm stupid. I know, I know I'm stupid, but yet I'm smarter than almost everybody I meet. And the real problem with dumb people is, they don't even know they're dumb. That's a part of being dumb, you're not aware. There should be a way to tell, like a home pregnancy test type thing. Some shit you say at home, and you lick it, you go, oh, my fucking idiot, shit! What is this? It's broken! Dudes would never believe it. Idiots would be fucking boxes, stacks to the ceiling. Why are you a cocksucker? No! The real problem is, most of us are idiots. We just like to think we're not idiots because we use a bunch of shit that smart people have figured out. But how many of us understand any of that shit? Think about the technological level that this world operates on. How many of us really understand that? What if everybody out there died and we had to take over the world? How well do you think we do? Yeah, 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 terrific, really do awesome. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, does anybody know how any of this shit works? <laughs> Why is that loud? Any idea? I've been a comedian for 16 fucking years. I have no idea what's in there. I don't know, some loud shit? I don't know. What makes that bright? Bright shit? I don't know. Think about all the stuff you need to run your life. Computers and palm pilots and cell phones. How many of you know how to make any of that shit? I mean, if I left you alone in the woods with a hatchet, how long before you could send me an email? We are not smart. We buy shit from smart people. I don't have a camera on my phone because I'm smart. If you left me on an island for a fucking million years, I can never figure out how to put a camera in a phone. I don't even know what a camera is. I know I press a button and a picture shows up. What happens between me pressing that button and the picture showing up is anybody's fucking guess. There might be leprechauns with spray paint fucking gremlins under the ass. All I know is megapixels. You gotta say that to get the good shit. I don't even know what a megapixel is. It's like a noise you make with your mouth. Megapixel. Oh, you're clever. You are clever. Who knows them? People who know that shit. Does anybody know anybody who's invented anything? Who are they? Is anybody watching them? Making sure they're alive? Making sure that somebody makes kids with them? No, no one's paying attention. I think what's gonna happen one day is the smart people are just gonna die, and they're gonna leave us with a bunch of shit we don't understand. I think it's gonna be no warning. We're just gonna be sitting around having a good time, having a couple drinks. Power's just gonna shut off. Everybody's gonna get out the lighter. Where'd he go, you fucking idiots? Can't even keep the power on. What the fuck? And what do you do when the power goes out? I don't know what you do. But what I do is usually I sit around and I wait. Because I figure this is going to fix that shit. It's probably working on it right now. How long would it take before you figured out that all the smart people are dead? It would take years. Uh, you would have to run out of batteries, but I don't know how to make a fucking battery. What do we do? Shit! 
Listen, just get together the torch, okay? Get the torch. We're all gonna meet in the street. We're gonna work this out. It's gonna be cool. Stand out in the street with your torch. What's up, fag? Dude, you know how to get the power on? I thought you did. No. All right, keep me posted. You too. Shh. We just be sitting in our house with torch. That would work. Until animals realize we don't have electricity anymore and start sneaking around the city and checking shit out. And you realize there's no loud noise doesn't scare them off anymore. And bears just start grabbing people. Then we just realize we're fat and slow. You don't even have to catch us. If you scare us, we'll just black out. It's a matter of time before they start eating us. More evolution. But not me, motherfucker. I got guns. All right, I got bullets. I'm going to be fine. So I run out of bullets. I don't want to make a fucking bullet. Do you? Shit! Listen, man, we gotta get out of the city. We're sitting ducks. This is what I think we should do. Let's move back into the cage. They were living caves again. Dude, it's safe for the cage, bro. Let's fucking guard the entrance with sharp pointed sticks. Yeah, we would just get down to a core group of survivors fighting off the bears. And within one or two generations, we would forget everything. Trigonometry, calculus, that shit's gone. Science net, it's gone. It's never gonna happen again. It would take thousands of years. You have to reinvent electricity. Within 100 years, we would think the world is flat. The sun is 17 miles away. Just like the people that wrote the Bible. That's what they thought. Isn't that funny? We would just get down to a core, devolve to a core group of survivors and let them re-evolve and rediscover the earth. How crazy would that be? How crazy would a caveman discovering downtown Phoenix be? He's coming out of the cave with his fucking club and his buddies. But dude, who fucking built all this shit? Bro, it had to be aliens. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, it's aliens. I can't do that. You do that? Neither can I. Fuck. See, I think this has happened before. I think, I think it explains, it explains the pyramids. Pyramid. And yeah, yeah, I was really high when I thought this up. <laughs> but it makes sense. If you ever watch a documentary in the pyramids, they have no idea how they made those things. They take all the they use levers, but this is all that you need to know. They know they they're there, so they know somebody made it. All you need to know about the Great Pyramid is that there's two million three hundred thousand stones that weigh between two and eighty tons. Some of them were cut from a quarry that was five hundred miles away. No machines, no trucks, no steel. They had copper tools. They were perfectly cut. You couldn't get a razor blade between these rocks, and they're perfectly aligned to true north, south, east, and west. And if you cut and place ten of these monstrous stones, a day. It would take you 664 fucking years to make one pyramid. All brought to you by people who thought the god Ra took the sun across the sky in a canoe and returned later that evening with the moon. They had 16 year old queens. Cleopatra was 16 when she was running shit. That's like Lindsay Lohan being queen of the world. And they built that. They built that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, because I have another theory. I think people used to be really, really, really fucking smart. But the, but dumb, the ones dumb ones just, just out, out fuck the smart ones. ones. That's what I think. I think we are all the bastard children of the idiot stone workers of Egypt. I think at one point there was a master race. And they were reading each other's minds. They were free of ego. And they were totally honest. And they were mapping out the cosmos. And behind them, the stone workers just fucked away. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
What do you want to do? I think for now we should just move into the pyramid, then we'll figure it all out. And that's what they did, they just moved in. Then they just started lying about it. After a couple of generations, who built this? We did? We're the best! We're number one! Egypt! Egypt! Look at that beautiful flat wall! That's passing shit, son! I think I will draw stick figures on it. <laughs> this is a woman. She's carrying food upon her head. That's important document. And this is a man, but he has the head of a dog. And he's evil. Are you sure they made that? The road sticks, 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 dude. dude. Seriously, it's 2005, 2005 and look who the president, president is. That's a little weird. weird. Yeah. We have a dumb president. And stop all the Republican Democrat shit. Let's just be honest. Let's be honest. I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat, all right? And I think voting for president right now is a lot like rooting on pro wrestlers. All right? I think it makes you feel like you're contributing, but I don't know if they really have that much effect on the outcome. But that said, that said, it is a little weird that we got a dumb press. And, I, and if you disagree with me, and you don't think he's dumb, you remember my joke about dumb people not knowing they're dumb? Okay, if you don't know he's dumb, it's because you're dumber than him. I don't see what the fuck is all about. What the fuck am I about? But this is my fight. You know that shit is on purpose. There's some There's smart, smart Republicans out there, out there. some whip smart, very, very articulate, articulate, very convincing guys that would make very good leaders. leaders. So why so is do we have a dumb guy? I'll tell you, tell you why. Because there's, there's only one way to find out how dumb we really are. are. They had to make a dumb guy. Do you know how dumb with most people? Most people are Phoenix. Do you know what this country's all about? That's, see, that's the craziest thing about having a country. We're basically like a tribe, right? But you can't have a tribe with 290 million fucking people in it. We don't know each other. Even if we wanted to, just this room, we wanted to make a tribe, we would have to do some interviews, we'd have to read out the douchebags. You know, if we decided to all act as one unit, there's a lot of people probably would make the cut. You can't have a fucking tribe with 290 million people in it. Especially when 200 million people live in places you shouldn't even fucking stop for gas. Most people aren't living in fucking cities. They're living in nowhere. They just stop. And they're not moving. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. They stand on the road watching cars go by. Drag it! I heard the church is breaking in books. This place is gonna just stop. People decided to stay. No one's in Paducah, Kentucky, because Paducah's the shit. All right, they're in Paducah because their ancestors were traveling to California and they went, my feet hurt. Let's stop here and fuck. That's the only way they can find out. There's only one way to find out how stupid people are. 
They don't know you. They don't know most people. Those billionaire banker dudes that control the world. There's only one way to find out. Put a dumb guy in office and see if they fucking freak out. They probably had arguments. Let's just get a smart guy to act up. No. We'll never know that. Let's put a real dumb guy in. Fuck it. Listen, if it doesn't work, we got backup. We got Jeb, we got McCain. Don't worry about it. We're going to be fine. We try him out in the primaries. Let's just try it. They must have been, they been touch and go in the beginning. Fuck! Dude, he's making up words. Talk to him. Talk to him. Nigeria's not a continent, you asshole. Put some shit in his ear. Tell him some things. He won? We 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 Wow! Ah oh, fuck! Oh, look at all this shit! We're at war? Oh, war is a dangerous thing! You can fuck everything up! With them? Well, how are we at war with them? How did he make that connection? They bought that! Wow! With the internet and everything? You won again? Holy fucking shit! You won again! God damn! And you know there's one dude in the back of the room going, I think we can go dumber. And they could! Easily! You're outnumbered! You just don't realize that we had some crazy, looped out president who only talked to the dummies. Just some wild former military pro football coach type president. Some dude who gets on TV and goes, How about this? How about we go over there and take that fucking oil? What the fuck? USA! 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 You want to pay two fifty a gallon and you want to pay 25 cents? Let's do this shit! Rome style! Did you hear a pause? And then just gunfire. Don't just start shooting out the window. Jesus got my bullet! Wow! There's plenty of people dying for that pep talk. You don't need to draft in America. All you gotta do is tell people they're supposed to be killing people. Are you sure? Totally! Just tell them. You don't 